Yeah, boy. Hi guys, welcome back to another Game Boys Raw awesome video, guys. And as you can see today, another episode of Carpet Episode 160 is finally here, which is awesome. So massive thanks to everyone of you guys popping onto this video and giving it a watch. Always, always appreciate it. So thank you so much. So today in the video, there's actually quite a few random car boots, like as in like there's not a lot of good finds. There's a load of random stuff that I've been finding last year. Um so I've added this into one video. There's a couple of nice finds, but no, there's lots of like random bits that I like picking up. So you might not find it interesting, but it's just other stuff I like to pick up sometimes, not just gaming. Um, but there is a few gaming, awesome gaming items that I pick up in this video. So, and it's about 15 minutes of hunting. Um, so yeah, done quite well last year. I can't believe how many car boots I went to. Yeah, I've been still been going through them now and getting them out. And um, yeah, I've still got maybe a couple more episodes I can make until like I've I've done all last year's episodes. So that's awesome. So yeah, thank you everyone who actually has recently subscribed and commented. I really do appreciate it. Always means the world seeing new new watches and comment people commenting on my videos. It really means the world. But anyway, let's now get to the video. Hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you at the end of it with a few pickups. How much is your mark? £2. £2. £2. That's good. Cool. Cool. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. As you just seen there, it's picked up a nice vintage mug. It's actually a Turtles one for two quid, so that was really awesome. Uh, it's single, single big flowers are 50 feet. Yeah. 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 How much is your controller? Four quid for that one, mate. Four quid? Yeah. Picked up his controller for like four quid, which is awesome. Not bad, as always worth in worth to like send into CEX because they always give you like a good bit of credit for them. So definitely a good item to pick up. How much is this? Three quid. Three quid. We take two. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, man. A random Harry Potter thing for like two quid. I don't even know why I actually bought this. I just I like picking up Harry Potter stuff because it's quite collectible. So you know, I'll grab it. How much is this? I found a charger for that phone as well. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Um, and just pound for the app. Oh, yeah. That's great. Um, so I need to give you. There's five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Look, that's great, thank you. I picked up a Hegwig, which is awesome. And also, I did pick up that phone as well for like a quid off the guy as well, so that was awesome. This would have been a great buy because CXD give you some good money back for this uh, box set. And sadly, we've just seen there's one disc missing, so I didn't end up buying that. But now let's go down to another car boot to see what this one's like. Let's do it. How much is this? Three 
ไม่ต้องเอาเอาขวดโอเค Thank you three pounds for this awesome turtles lunch box vintage as well which is nice I didn't end up moving this off to, off to my mate Joe and yeah I was going straight to his collection literally had it for what I paid how much did you gain You do a pound? Yeah. Thank you. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you very much. For some reason this Professor Lacing game is always the one that's worth the most. So if you look out for this one, I think at the moment they give you four pound credit for this one, or they give you literally like three pound cash, and they actually sell oh, it for yeah. eight quid. So I've got enough of them. I need to get rid of them. I keep buying them, and they're not getting rid of them. Oh, I'm over that. Some games in there. Winter ski. No, winter star. Oh, it's got... Yeah. The amount of these I keep finding. <laughs> well, you just, I'll show you later on how many I've got. I keep. You're gonna risk it. <laughs> oh, I might get that for my. Is that what's this? Get okay. that for your car. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I wouldn't would really put that in there. Yeah. What is it? It's a little cops. It's like a little arcade, like with a. Um, how much is that? You asked how much it is? I didn't ask there. Well, if you get back and it's nothing, it doesn't work. It just needs some love, but I think it probably work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like someone custom built it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, the, the PC's not even fit in it, right? It's got a hard drive, it's got a hard drive. Can I ask how much it is? Is this for the hell of it? <laughs> Yeah. I'm sure the people on YouTube want to anyway. That's all come off, but... How much is that arcade thing down there? 20. 20, okay. How much are you getting? A pound. Thank you. Picked up a copy of Wii Sports Resort in the wrong case. Always worth grabbing. Definitely worth grabbing them ones because they always seem to do well. Yeah, I picked up this. This will do. But yeah, someone's 20 quid for that arcade thing. 20 quid? Yeah. Are you going to give it? Oh, I, 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 I haven't got the room. Oh. I've got a bigger house. I'd, I'd definitely have to go. I've got the room, but I just don't need it. <laughs> it needs somebody who knows something more about it. I just don't know, I don't know anything about them. It's like someone modded it, made it themselves. Yeah. You're just trying to get it and it's knackered here. Um, 20 quid's quite, quite high, but it's not bad if you want to try it. So. That custom arcade machine was pretty cool. It was like, had like a built-in PC inside it. I was very tempted to buy it, but for 20 quid and it not working, it was a big risk. And it did end up selling. We went by later on and it was sold. So yeah, hopefully someone got a good bargain with it. How much is your game? Four pounds for that one. Well, no one, Lemon? No, I've already got it already. Yeah, it's quite classic, isn't it? <laughs> it's not bad, I'm alright. I've got it already. That should. Export. Yeah, oh, that's a cool one, yeah. How much are, these con how much are the consoles? Yeah. Sometimes they didn't come with them, did they? This one did. It's a death charge. It's a charge, yeah. And these are dead. Rest in peace. I've got power plugs, plugs for these. Oh, that one's got that. Right? Ten pound on them. Ten pound each. Okay. Fifteen. Uh, is that fifteen or twenty? No, that's twenty one. That. Okay. No all driving. It's if it's no driving, one of them. Yeah. I'll do it twenty quid. Tell them all 
Ten pound a console, no guarantee they're working. Not really worth it. Yeah, I'm gonna say. How much, how much is a yo-yo? Uh, 50p, mate. 50p, yeah. Here you go. Cheers. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. Now, this was a great find for me, as I always have loved yo-yos, and to find a, a 90s pro yo for, like, 50p, that's gone straight into my collection, and I'm always on the hunt for yo-yos like that. I love a good yo-yo, if anyone doesn't know. I love a good yo-yo. Uh, how much is it? Those, uh, 50p. 50p, yeah. I've got a pound if you got. First bite is car boot. A nice Pokemon plush. I do not know its name. I probably could find out if I Googled it. You guys can whack it in the comment because some of you guys will be like, yes, I know the Pokemon. But yeah, here you go. A nice hourly Pokemon. Yeah. How much did you buy? Two pounds for that. Okay. Right. Can you take 150? I will do that. Yeah. Thank you. He is Here you are. Thank you. Lego Marvel bag, I thought that was cool. I got it for 150. I've never seen it before and I thought I'd just I'd give it a grab and see it might be worth something. How much is, is your car? 20p. 20p. No, not quite yet. Thank you very much. A really random item I just brought there was a Hot Wheels car that basically can hold a certain GoPro and you can go around your track with it. I thought yeah. I've never seen it before and I thought I'd have to grab it. Okay. Like I say, there's no games in it, but yeah. there's. There's one game on it. Yeah. You know, what I mean, that's standard game. Like this instructions, charger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you twenty on it? No, no, really. I can get, I can get more than that trading it in at CXF. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you twenty-five. Yeah. 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 Like you say, I can get yeah. trouble that does me about three X. Yeah, the, mm. t the amount of money they make on them. Yeah, they yeah. do. They sell a lot yeah. more, don't they? They make a lot of money on them. You know what I mean? And it's like yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Because like you say, you know, I traded a phone and got about 130. Then you see it on for about 200. Yeah, they make they make a big profit out of people. A big but. profit, yeah. Does it come with these or are they, are they not? No, with they separate. Okay, it's so alright. Yeah. Thank you. Separate. Right, thank you very much, anyway. Picked up the DS as it was in really, really nice condition and it was £25, but the condition of it, as you see, it has screen protection on it and all that. Really awesome price. And I did end up moving it off to my mate, uh, Jake, because he didn't, he didn't have that colour. Um, so, yeah, very, very nice. I already had that colour in my collection. I didn't really need it. But I was said, I'm always on the hunt for other consoles like that that my mate doesn't have. So I'm always like sorting them out with deals. So yeah, pretty happy with that bargain. Not bad actually, really isn't a bad price. How much is it? Quid. Quid. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
elastic band plane. I've not even opened it out of the box. I just like stuff like this, and I thought for a pound it looked quite old. Why the hell not? And let's now go to another car boot and see what this one's like. Let's do it, guys. How much, how much is that? Three pounds. Three pounds, yeah. Thank you. How much is your skateboard? And skateboard. Huh? Skateboard. Five. Oh. Yeah, Thank you. Five pounds for an awesome skateboard. It literally a brand new nick really and it hardly been used. It's a really good make one for five quid. Awesome. How much is this? Ten pounds. This work. This right. one, this one no bad, bad no good. Okay. Same work, right. bad no good. This on. Yeah. I'll take you out one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Just picked up a PSP Street and sadly it doesn't read games, which I'm not too bold about. It still turns on and if I wanted to I could mod it so I can just play the, mem the games off the memory card and then good jobs are good. In. So I'm pretty happy having that. Remote control plane in bad state. Oh, mate. But let's go now to the outro. Hi, guys. So, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You see, I've got a few cool bits. Nothing too incredible, but there's a cool few bits that I actually got for the collection. There's only one item I'm going to show you here, which is the PSP. So, we've got the PSP for 20 quid with a charger, and this is it here. Um, as I said, it sadly doesn't read games, but I looked inside it. Like, I'm not actually opened it up, but I looked at, opened it up, looked in. And I think the reason is there's actually a little switch which tells it um, that it has a game in it, and that is actually missing. So I don't know if it's either broke off or if someone's took this apart and removed it. Um, so I reckon if I replace that, this would actually work. Um, so yeah, let me turn it on. It's definitely going to be kept for the collection because I don't have the PSP Street. And as you can see there, it's turned on, working good. Um, just. I just can't play any games in it. Um, the only way I could probably do it is by modding it, which I have been thinking of doing that, because I do like this one. I do like the, the full black look of this PSP. Uh, really, really is nice. Um, and I like the way the back opens as well. I like the whole thing just opens up like that, which is quite quite nice. Um, but yeah, and also you put the memory card here, so they're on the side. And, and stuff like that so it's one of the later releases psps i think um yeah it's really nice i do like it but as i said it doesn't read games or it probably does read games but it hasn't got a little switch which which gets pressed down when you shut the door 
and it tells it basically that there's a game inside to read it. So that's no longer on the board. It, it's weird. I did look it up when I first got it and found out that's what the reason is probably. Um, and I don't think they're that expensive to find a like another one, but it's getting it soldered in and getting it working. That's the hard part. Um, but maybe I can get into doing that one day. I don't know. I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, but I do enjoy trying to do that, taking things apart and trying to fix them. But I'm happy to have this still for ten pound. It's still good. It turns on. It it's 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 worth if I wanted to to mod it. So I might do that one day. Mod it up and just have games on the memory card instead of be able to read them on the on the on the disc way. But there we go. That's that. And as you see, I got a DSi XL which that went to my mate. That was really good condition. That was also I got a few nice turtle bits which also I've gone to my friends that I. Uh, look out for stuff for them like i've got a friend i look out for turtle stuff for which is joe and then i got my mate jake who i'm looking at for handhelds because i've got i've got like all the handhelds that i'm after now um and i've got most of the colors that i do find out in the wild now so when i do find doubles that my mates don't have i usually hook them up with them and uh, you know let them have them for their collection which is good so they've given them to cx which they were just like you know they don't give you too much for them but they, you know they'll i'd I'd rather them go to a friend who actually is after that colour than, uh, them, you know, have it in it. So that's it, guys. That's my episode. Thank you very much for watching it. I know it's not the most longest episode, but I'm lacking on, like, the content of heart hunting is slowly disappearing, so that's good. So I'm ready for the new season to come in. I've got a few more to get out before the new season comes in. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying it. And I thank you very much for subscribing and watching and liking and uh, commenting. It always really means the world. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be on Saturday again. So have, have a good rest of your week and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.